Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to True Food Reviews. I'm Mark. I'm Nick. And uh, today we're looking at a real crowd pleaser, I think. Carrots. Um, here's some fun facts for those of you who don't know. Carrot is a root vegetable, usually orange in color. Although, and I didn't know this, they can also be purple, black, red, white. I knew that one. And yellow. I don't think I'd eat a black carrot. I, I would assume there's something wrong with you it. You'd assume it used to be an orange carrot and there's something yeah. wrong with it. Yikes. Um, carrots can be traced back about 5,000 years through historical documents and paintings. No one knows exactly when the first carrots appeared because many people mistook them for parsnips, a close relative of the carrot. That would be a white carrot, right? Um, a teaspoon can hold approximately 2,000 carrot seeds. Although I can't think of a situation where that's going to come up. I also can't, I don't know what carrot seed looks like. No, I don't think I've ever seen one. I don't know where it is, if it's inside the orange part or if it's in the leaf part somehow. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not a farmer. <laughs> Me neither. Tobacconists in France used to put carrots in their bins to keep their tobacco from drying out. I wonder if that's a similar principle to, you know, if you put an, a piece of bread in your brown sugar, it stops it from getting all hard? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if that's, I don't know how that works. I feel like that's the sort of thing that could easily be an old wives' tale as well, like the whole rice and iPhone thing. But That's true. That doesn't work? I've heard it doesn't work. No. Um, and this last one really surprised me. The average person will consume 10,866 carrots in a lifetime. That's a lot. <clears throat> I'm not even sure... How, what the last time I had carrots? I, I have carrots pretty consistently. That that number doesn't surprise me. I'm gonna distribute these carrots right now. Okay. Uh, I guess we both get three carrots. Well, we get three and a half carrots. Okay. And uh, you can have that. You're just kind of spindly. Uh, okay. Yeah, carrots. I was excited to do this one <clears throat> because uh, I've always liked carrots. And I think they have cultural significance beyond just a vegetable, like they show up in cartoons and This is certainly movies. the Bugs Bunny carrot. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> this so, is your classic carrot. I'm a bit worried about these hairy bits over here, uh, but I think I'm probably going to start with them and jump right... Oh, you're going to eat it one at a time? I was going to... You're going to know the whole bunch? I'll go yeah. one at a time and savor the moment. All right. <clears throat> I'll, I think um, I'm going to pull off this little spindly part, though. Uh, that feels like cheating, but we'll see. Uh, all right, let's, let's just get to it, then. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, um, pull off the hairy bits. No they, spindly bits. They do not add anything. And they kind of make you choke a little bit, sort of. I'm dipping into my water here. We definitely don't need the green part. No. So the thing that always interested me about a carrot is that with a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables, the part you eat is essentially like <clears throat> the seed pod, the part that falls off the plant. Th in this case, this is the plant part here. This is just the root. You could never eat a tree root. It would be so hard. But it's just interesting that the root of the plant, the underground part that should be really coarse, is actually surprisingly sweet. <clears throat> Which is why carrot is so good in cake. You bring up an important point. The thing that gets me with carrots every time is that bit of sweetness. That's what's going to differentiate a carrot from most vegetables. Well, you think of the things that grow underground. Onions can be sweet, but usually not. Potatoes are kind of flavorless. Um, beets are really hard. But a carrot, you can literally go into a garden, pull up a carrot, and just, just eat it. Yeah, one of the most casual vegetables you're gonna find. You know, like I got nothing but good things to say about this. It's crunchy. It's not. It's, I mean, I don't know if these are organic or not. But they look kind of organic. They look fresh. Right. And everyone just to tell you, juicy carrot though. It's not juicy, but it's also not dry. I don't eat. It's not like eating an uncooked potato, which is like trying to muscle down. Uh, dry, uh, you know, flavorless apple. Yeah. Like, I went for my water because I was kind of wrestling with three carrots here, but yeah. if I'd been eating a more reasonable amount of carrots, you would never need to go to your water. Final thoughts? I'm reticent to give any anything an A because that's kind of the highest... So I'll, I'll give this an A-, but it, it's creeping up towards an A. 
because I, I really like carrots and I probably am going to exceed that 10,866 average in my lifetime, I'd imagine. <clears throat> I'm going to give it an A, and here's why. Um, it's so good raw. There are almost, there, there are very few vegetables that are good raw. Like I said, garden ready. You can walk into your neighbor's garden and just rip this out of the ground, get, rub it up, you know, wipe it on your shirt, and it's ready to go. You do not have that luxury with a lot of things. That's true. It's very true. It, it's hard for me to complain about the A you're giving it, but I'm, I'm not ready to bust out an A yet. Yeah. Well, carrots. We'll definitely buy again. Um, we definitely recommend. And good by themselves, I can only imagine what they'd be like in a vegetable medley. Buy thousands of them. So that's us here at uh, True Food Reviews. Hope you're having a good afternoon and uh, enjoying your carrots.